Welcome back. So apparently we were both right. Oh. oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, oh, you killed him. oh man, you killed him! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> chest bumped me to death. Oh man. <laughs> the... It's so hard to we, get yeah, We so... had an interesting break. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We spent the time researching on who's uh, who did who, who did right. what, where, why. It was great. We're really good. Yep, three, two, one. Oh! 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 oh. No, oh, one, no one died. <laughs> oh, you're still up there! Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is undefeated. Man. King yeah. of the boob. I got hang on. Where's the uh? What, I gotta I gotta do the celebration. <laughs> I gotta I gotta celebrate my victory. Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it while I run at him. Like. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't really work. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. I thought he died again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we were all we were all right. Co was seeing round blocks. And maybe we were seeing square blocks. And how we did not realize that. Let's start a weird conversation. This is just hilarious. Yeah. It was really surprising. Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> did you just die again? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's You're killing. Our, we can play our game of uh, Go Dead Body. You know. All right. Uh, so the goal should be we get between the boobs, I think. Okay, well, and I gotta get it off the ship. Yeah, you gotta get it off the, sh the ship. Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Shit, come oh. on. Go, 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 go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You're breaking out! No! Oh! Yeah, oh! But yeah, now you're in a corner! Yeah. Now what are you gonna do? Oh! 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 Shit! 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 No! 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 Oh, no. Man, I pushed it too far! Oh man, he's just going! Come back, go! <laughs> uh. No! 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 Shit! Oh! No! no. <laughs> uh, oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Uh. Oh no! Oh! No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, go! Oh no! Shit! I've fallen off the, the thing. Oscar, I'm gonna go for cheeky. I'm gonna go for cheeky score. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Here's your body cut. Oh, that body just damaged the ship, I think. It did it really? Yeah. It just hit. Oh. No, oh, that one missed. Oh, no, it missed. The one I kicked off hit the fucking thruster on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's okay. Bodies are dangerous, as we have learned. <laughs> No, it looks okay. It looks like... Oh no, it did. It did one percent damage. <laughs> Both of them have got one percent damage on them. That's funny. This body is dangerous, man. Jeez. Well, thankfully now we're we're all sane again. We we have we've <laughs> arrived at the same page now. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that we were just having this conversation without realizing that we were both seeing the. Oh god. I know, it's so weird. What a wild world we live in. What a wild, wild world. Hi, what a. <laughs> Moon Pie, what a time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're fast. It's from, um, it's from The Simpsons when. Um, uh, Jasper, that like he gets frozen in a fridge, and he's in there for like, I don't know, ten minutes, and he comes out and he thinks it's the future, and he looks, <laughs> he's looking through the shop and he sees Moon Pie and he's like, Moon Pie, what a time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like that's like classic old Simpsons. It's just too good. Oh dude. Love, I love me some moon. I know I have moon pie. What is it? I wonder what it tastes like. Aren't they just like marshmallow pies or something or whatever? Or am I thinking of something else? I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna check now. Moon pie. Yeah, it's uh, it's a chocolate. It's a marshmallow in the center with a two, um, like uh, pastry type, like flaky paste. Since 1917. What makes these moon? Why moon? Why not? I mean, 1917. Right, are they circular? Moon was yeah a thing. Right? That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a picture of a woman eating moon pie at Mardi Gras. That's an interesting picture to have, Wikipedia. Well done. <laughs> moon pies have been at the Ch the Chatt Chattanooga Bakery since 1917. 
Oh, uh, Mitchell, Mitchell Jr. said his father came up with the idea of moon pies when he asked Kentucky coal miner what kind of a snack he would like to eat, and the miner requested something with graham cracker and marshmallow, which was being dipped in chocolate. When Mitchell's father asked how it should be, the miner looked up in the night sky and framed the full moon of his hands. <laughs> 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 I imagine this is exactly how it went down. <laughs> that makes it sound way too, like, majestic and beautiful. Like, he framed the moon in the sky. It should be like the moon. That's ridiculous. Ads for products and stuff from that time period are hilarious because they didn't have any rules or they didn't know that like people selling stuff would lie or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. they just said all kinds of shit like almost everything that we have still today that had any sort of a legacy to it started off with some ridiculous like fucking health benefit that wasn't true or something like that. <laughs> right. Like, eat Kellogg's and your heart will regrow back into your body if you've lost your heart <laughs> <laughs> It's true, believe us. Oh my god, this is horrifying. The best or is like, uh, cigarettes. people used to drink tonics and stuff. <laughs> well, you say cigarettes are good for you, didn't Oh yeah, oh, cigarettes yeah. used to be good for you, that was a thing. What else? That's probably the most, that's probably the most dangerous lie, I feel like, they've ever said. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's something that was, like, perpetrated for a really long time, too, was to either say that it was healthy or cover up the fact that it wasn't healthy. Mm. Although, it's kind of funny that that became this perception that somehow people don't know, that like all the way up into the, the 2000s, it's like, okay, we know now. Everybody knows. This is not a thing that people don't know. We don't need the truth commercials. We know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well this, is more, this is more like shock tactics. It's, it's like you're trying to sell Jesus. It's like everybody knows who Jesus is. You can't go up to somebody and be like, have you ever heard of Jesus? Check him out, man. He's got a, he's got a book. He's all right. <laughs> he's got a book. <laughs> Did you yeah, know like the like the truth dot org? That's part of this settlement agreement too. So like the the tobacco companies are the ones making those commercials as part of the the legal settlement what? agreement. Yeah. <laughs> oh oh, so they've been forced to make those commercials. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Maybe that's why they're obnoxious. Maybe they're intentionally making those commercials obnoxious. So, so that people no will be like, yeah. man, I'm going to keep smoking just because of these commercials. <laughs> I'll show these motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's like, I've always, you? Yeah, I've always found them like subtly insulting. Like, this is insulting my intelligence a little yeah, bit. That's a good way to get someone to not do what you want them to do. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Maybe it is meant to be that way. But um, other things that were... I think some of the ones that are funnier are like... Uh, stuff where it's entirely mundane things that were treated more like magical supplements. And they became like something like candy for us now. But originally were like like chewing gum or something like that. Like, chew this gum every day in the morning and your sex life will be vastly improved or something like that that has absolutely no effect on. Right. But now it's just, you know... Double mint gum, like, but it started off as something that somebody made and tried to peddle as like a fucking snake oil. <laughs> part, of, part of me kind of wishes they still said that. Chewing this will make your penis huge, <laughs> but don't, but don't chew it too much, or it'll grow too big, and people will be terrified and run for miles. <laughs> it'll keep growing, and like your house roof will collapse, and you'll see the giant <laughs> penis coming into this, growing into the sky. <laughs> I they they kind of do that with um. Uh, with commercials aimed at kids, not the penis part, but <laughs> the, the whole like total exaggeration of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, I think, yeah. You yeah, know, like watch, like they drink like, something and then they turn into like a lightning bolt and they're like, yeah, and your whole well, day will be like, like fast, awesome. It's right? fast moving. Some guys like, yeah, you should try this right now. I remember like when right. I was a kid, and, like the Super Soaker adverts. It made me really want to buy a. A, a water pistol. It's just a fucking water pistol. <laughs> and it's then you like, get it, and it's like this is not anything like what they show at all. It's like some like there's like this army guy screaming at me to buy an uh, like a water pistol. <laughs> and he's like, Ugh. I'm like, oh my god! And I get him like, where's the army guy? Where's <laughs> this the army fun guy? guy screaming at? Yeah, this, this is fun of the the army guy screaming all the time. How are we supposed to get up here, Billy? There's a hole at the back. Oh, is there? Okay, I was like looking for a way out. It's trying to. I'm trying to. Oh, I see. Uh, maybe like maybe we could get up by going into the sides of the ship and something like that. Okay. Oh, staircase going up. 
One that's thing that bugged me with uh, kid commercials when I was a kid was how much, like how hardcore they were trying to push this thing that we should hate our parents. <laughs> and, yeah. and all adults. Did you notice that? Like, adults yeah. are stupid. They don't get frosted flakes, right? You know, like you're just supposed to. <laughs> every commercial showed like adults are like so dumb. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if like secretly there was like a flashing image like kill your parents and like little Satan <laughs> little, 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 like oh, oh my god I should kill my parents yeah they're dumb it's kind of <laughs> weird when you, when you think about it because that's the people with the money like what the fuck were they thinking like, right 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 <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know I, maybe not every kid thought about that sort of stuff but to me it was always like but I have to become one of those, uh, right? Eventually, oh, like I never, thought, I never thought about that when I was a kid. I was going to be a kid forever when I was a kid. Oh, okay. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Mm -hmm. Well, I just, I just never. It never occurred to me that one day I would be an old person. Right. Because <laughs> old people smelled, and I didn't want to be them. Yeah. So, like that was, that was like you know, I was like, oh no, old. They're just old people, you know. We're young people. I don't know. I find my, I don't know when the concept of getting old ever actually hit me. I still think it has. For me, at least. <laughs> no, I think that's a good point. I don't think it has yet. Either. I I sort of feel like when I got to around twenty or so was when. Well, no, actually, I take that back. Because I do look back, and I feel like I was still pretty naive and dumb at that age too. Not about everything, but some things. I remember at that age thinking that I knew everything. And yeah, now looking yeah. back, realizing I didn't know shit. I mean, it's funny because I, I wonder how true that will be about me right now, even. Like, when I look I, back. Yeah, I think you always yeah. do that. I think you always have As you get older, you always think, man, I, think, feel, I thought I knew everything back then. And... That's always what yeah. adults tell you, too, so you don't want to... You start saying it to yourself, and then you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because nobody ever agrees with that. It's the most futile thing an adult person can ever say to a young person is, you think you know stuff, but you don't. You just don't know. And then you just shrug them off like, whatever. Fuck you, old man. Yep. But then I'm young. later on, you start saying that stupid shit to yourself, too. Full circle. And then suddenly you realize you look like your parents, and then you just like, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> it's, what, it's just one of those paradoxical things where you just can't tell somebody that and have them accept it. They will never accept it. Yeah. But it is true. That's the, the annoying part of it. It is It is actually true. So you kids out there are listening right now, you're going to ignore us. <laughs> but it's fucking yeah, true. You know, the, okay. one, the, one, the ones out there listening go, whatever, bro. <laughs> yep. Exactly. There you have it. I know everything, man. I got straight A's in math. <laughs> <laughs> Days in math. I could fucking algebra your face off. <laughs> <laughs> algebra your face off. Yeah, dude, I'll algebra your face off. Come at you so hard, it's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. I'm an I algebra. I don't want to repeat what it sounded like you said. <laughs> algebra. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you just you always looking for shit to say jabroni. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you ain't an algebra, you're an algebroni. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, it's like the, the cool insults the maths club come up, comes up with. I mean, just, <laughs> maths jabroni. I love the word jabroni, any chance I can get to say jabroni. Oh, I know. <laughs> the slightest provocation. It's like, but it's not. It's not weird you get to say it often. So when you did you say chance, bro? I think I heard you say bro. Jabroni. Jabroni. It is. It is uh, one of those good words. It's like it can't be. It can't have any other context. As soon as you hear jabroni, the word itself conveys everything you need to know about it. <laughs> Fucking jabroni. It's like a jalopy for people. <laughs> Look at this fucking jabroni over here. What the hell, man? Wow, I just real they really are the same word. It's just jalopy is just the same thing but for cars. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what jalopy means. Oh, you never heard 
You never heard of a jalopy? Sounds like a p p piece of food. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, a uh, it's like a card that's sort of like a hodgepodge, run-down pile of shit. A jalopy. I mean, it's an old, it's an old-timey term, I guess. Now, right? I guess, yeah. Like, uh, I'm trying to think. What's that fucking? Is there a cartoon or a TV show with like a hillbilly family and they had this car piled up with shit? It was like a, you know, like a Model T style car. Beverly Hillbillies. Was it Beverly Hillbillies? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Beverly Hillbillies. Well, that car that they drive is a jalopy. That's like the picture perfect definition of a jalopy. I can't believe you never heard of that, Milby. You're making me really hungry when you say jalopy. <laughs> this is jalopy so it's delicious. <laughs> That's exactly the opposite reaction you should have. <laughs> it's like, man, I just want to eat a jalopy right now. <laughs> Don't totally go for some jalopies. Some fries. <laughs> let's go down. Hey, let's go, uh, let's you, go. You, jab you jabronis want to go for a jalopy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, I know a great jalopy stand. Let's no, <laughs> run by this jabroni. <laughs> Hey guys, did you know that the moon pie is a traditional celebratory food for remembering the Apollo 11 moon? Wing? Really? Mm. I that did not sounds know like that. some 50s corporate bullshit right yeah, there. It sure is. That's <laughs> Wiki Wikipedia. That is you've, probably... you've not really experienced the space launch until you've enjoyed it with a moon pie. You know, that kind <laughs> of fucking. <laughs> moon pie. Sponsored by NASA. Did you hear that just now? Okay, I never... Bing. Yeah, it was just perfect because as soon as you got done, like as you were saying it, it sounded like a jingle for the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's, that's when the moon with the eye like twinkles. Like, <laughs> yeah. it, it, there's a little wink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Creepy oh, man. living moon. It's me, Herbert Moon. <laughs> it's weird how creepy uh, commercials and stuff were before. They kind of made them less obviously creepy. Yeah. Every wife wants one of these in her home. Like that kind of <laughs> stuff that reflected the culture at the time. Yeah. Let's go. This message in the corner that says, Hey, Milby, I hope this isn't a bad time. I just wanted to. And then. <laughs> then Steam didn't let me see the rest now. So I'll just. Everyone will forever wonder what that was. <laughs> Wait, yours captures Steam? Yeah, mine does that too. Like, when anytime someone yeah. comes online or someone adds me as a friend or any of that other bullshit. Huh. Well, I'm oh, using well. Windows. To, I'm not using it in full screen right now. I guess was, I don't know why. If I play this game full screen, it fucks over my... It fucks over the recording really bad for some reason. I didn't know this game even ran windowed. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it, it runs It runs better. By your window, so I do it that way, so I actually have like better frames. Well, if it ran, I do most of fucking run, right? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it's, plus it's easy for me to quickly switch over to the other screen so I can search up Moon Pie and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> really get the most out of that multi screen setup. <laughs> really pushing the boundaries of computing. Moon Pie and Space Engineers, your sponsors for the Olympics. Also brought to you by Hitler. <laughs> oh, God. brought to you by Snacky S'mores. Snacky S'mores. <laughs> <laughs> they brush your teeth while you chew. <laughs> That's the new gum thing. Or are we talking about gum? That's what. Every, apparently, every gum now is proved by twelve dentists and will fucking fellatiate your tongue. <laughs> That's the funny thing, though, is I'm pretty sure there were some things that are actually horrible for your teeth, and they just advertised that they were the opposite, that they were great for your teeth. Yeah. Like, like uh, I think cigarettes even had that as well, like, helps you breathe. <laughs> yeah. Like, that kind, of, that kind of stuff is fucking hilarious. Helps you breathe. Or, like, uh, I swear there was ones for, like, unfiltered cigarettes. Don't let that nasty filter get in the way of you and some sweet cancer. Of, no, well, of you and enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, right? I know they would obviously sweet cancer. <laughs> you wouldn't be a very good advertising person. No, no. <laughs> you, you don't tell them about the sweet cancer. Well, that's you You would tell them that if you already had them convinced that cancer is something that they want. That's, yeah. that's what you do. You got them going like, <laughs> cancer really clears out your system entirely. 
of anything. <laughs> <laughs> of anything. Ever. Oh, this is how we're gonna get it there. You go down, and then you go to the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll be working things out here. A little bit of live engineering there for you folks. Hope you enjoyed. <coughs> Every now and then we get a little bit of uh, engineering on the show. Brainwave. I was just like... Came spilling out. A... No one can blame yeah. you. It's hard to control. Once it starts going. I guess they could like advertise it like weight loss. Oh. Want to lose some weight quick? <laughs> get some cancer. I, you know, honestly, ever since I quit smoking, I've kind of been like, God, I wish I... The only thing that makes me wish I was I was still smoking is that I gained all this weight. <laughs> uh, when I was smoking, I stayed pretty much the same all the time. My mom did that too. And I, what I think I've read about this, I think it's because food tastes better. Is that why you think yes. you gain weight? Like, so I don't know how interesting this is, but when you when you smoke, it dulls your your sense of smell and your taste buds and everything. And then what really convinced me to quit more than anything. Like, I knew what the risks were and all that shit. And it was more of like, I'm choosing to keep smoking, knowing what this is doing to me. But um, I was reading about how rapidly after you quit, you pretty much go back to normal. I mean, there are some long-term effects. And there's probably some stuff that never goes away. But the, most of the really bad shit actually will go away over time. And... Your sense of smell and taste and everything comes back really rapidly. Hmm. So that was what really, not not just getting my sense of smell back, but the fact that quitting rapidly makes you feel better Right, uh, was kind of cool to learn. But um, yeah, after I quit, food and, and everything all tasted better. Like life was less bland. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I think it's also, there's other theories as well as to what the deal is with that. Like, um, you have like an oral fixation, you know? Mm. Where you have to. So you have like, you're putting shit in your mouth and it yeah. needs to be in food. That's, that's another theory. Another one is similar, but that you're replacing your addiction with like, you, you feel like you need something. So since you're not smoking anymore, you move to whatever the next readily avail available thing is, and then that often ends up being eating. Mm. I don't know what's did you, true. Did you find it hard to quit? Um, actually, it was really weird. I decided one day that I just wasn't going to smoke anymore, and I haven't smoked for two and a half years now. Yeah, that's pretty much what my uh, dad did as well. You could say that, oh, well, then maybe you weren't really addicted, but I was smoking, like, more than a pack a day. Not much more than a pack a day, but... I was definitely addicted. Which probably means I have, like, a brain tumor or something. That's that's probably what it really means. <laughs> I'm not, like, a superhuman. I just have something wrong with me that I don't know about yet. Yeah. What doesn't kill you only makes you data. <laughs> exactly what? right. Hundred percent correct. Uh, and with that, we're gonna leave now. So to, to cry, we're gonna all gonna go cry. Uh huh. So, bye. <laughs> <laughs> cry, Jeez. cry, cry for us, Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that, but I just didn't believe it was gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>